where 95% of this video is going to be like me fixing my hair. Today's video is going to be my monthly beauty favorites for last month, which is January 2017. I originally wanted to get this video up on January the 31st, like the last day of January. I've filmed this video three times and there's either been technical difficulties, I forgot to film an intro or an extra or something went wrong. So hopefully third time is usually the charm. So let's just go ahead and leave it at that. I did one of the favorites my first year of YouTube. My second year of YouTube, I was like, no, I'm not doing monthly favorites anymore. They're a waste of time. I don't find them useful. However, in fact, they are very useful. My subscribers really enjoy my monthly beauty favorites. So if you'd really like to see all the products that I've been indulging and really have been liking for the month of January 2017, then please just keep watching. I am going to be talking about skincare. I love me some skincare. And recently, I have been using two skincare products. They have been working really great simultaneously. The first product that I'm going to talk about is going to be my Michael Christie Botanical Facial Wash. This stuff I cannot go a day without. I actually mix it in with my Best Damn Beauty. It does give you such a nice glow to the face. It gets rid of any bacteria, blackheads, whiteheads, texture blemishes, you name it, and this will work. If you're a man, if you're a woman, if you're transgender, whatever you are, you're having acne problems, those hormones are kicking in, I highly recommend that you guys get the Michael Christie Botanical Wash. So the next product from the Michael Christie line that I absolutely just cannot live without. These get rid of my dry patches, any dry dead skin sitting on my face, and that's going to be Michael Christie's Phytonutrients Rejuvenating Swipes. These things are amazing. Oh my god, they are so potent, you guys, but yet so gentle on the face. They do come in a packet of 50, so there are 50 swipes in here. They're not wipes, they're swipes. It's really helped with my dry, dead skin on my face, so I really use this morning and night to get rid of any extra residue, whether it be dead skin, dead cells, dry skin, what have you, or blemishes. It even goes in and pops your blemishes, so that way you don't actually have to go in and use your hands and nails to puncture and pop those pimples these will get the job done for you. If you are interested in purchasing some Michael Christie products, these are the two basics that I do highly recommend. If you want to know more about these products, I do have a video that I talk full blast about these products, so I'll be sure to link that down below. Be sure to try these out. Here, I just wanted to introduce you guys, well, not introduce you guys to this product because I have been using it for a really long time, but this is the Best Damn Beauty Oil by Nicole Guerrero. I use this morning and night, and I even mix it in with my foundations when I do have dry skin. I just feel it's really hydrating to the skin and really gives it a luminous finish. This one right here is going to be Nicole Guerrero's Best Damn Firming Serum. I love, love, love this stuff for underneath the eye. I also like to use it on my lines here where I crease. They've gotten so much better. The ingredients in this product are so amazing because they really do have those firming technology particles in there that really go in. It kind of gives you like both talks to the face. I've really noticed such a tremendous difference in like the lines of my face. I use this again with my foundation if I'm not using it alone. I've found the best makeup remover that I've probably ever encountered in my beauty career here and that's going to be the best damn makeup remover. I'm almost out. I cannot wait to repurchase this one because it's so wonderful and gentle on the eyes. It does have an ultra gentle formula in it. As I'm getting older, I am getting sensitive eyes. Like for instance, today this eye is watering so much and I just cannot control it. It's so evil. I hate it. This is really designed to take off your makeup with such ease. I use it with those little cotton rounds and they work perfectly. It does have like an oily consistency to it. Just be careful with this product because if yours leaks like mine did, it's going to get on nasty 
and it's going to start ripping off the actual ingredients in you know the packaging but that's my fault the product alone in it is so amazing i absolutely love it and i'm going to talk about one more best damn beauty thing and it's only because i love best damn beauty so so much these are setting sprays and since i've been talking about the bdb i'm going to be talking about the best damn facial spray oh I love this. The beauty oil and then the facial spray were the first products to launch from her line. And I love her line. Oh my goodness. <laughs> every time I smell this, every time I use it, I look at my face. Yes, it gives it such a wet look initially, but once it dries, it gives you the most luminous look. It's so flawless, so beautiful, so luminous and radiant. This does have skin loving ingredients in there. You can use this alone, underneath your makeup, on top of your makeup, on the go for an instant pick me up. If you are going to purchase Best Damn Beauty, be sure to use code BEAUTYQUEENV to save yourself 20% off the Best Damn Beauty products. The next facial spray that I'm going to be talking about has been my absolute favorite. Oh my goodness. I got it from Morphe and it's called Model in a Bottle. And I remember Nicole Guerrero used to use this Model in a Bottle when she initially first started her YouTube channel. There's nothing in there. <gasps> I'm so sad. This model in a bottle stuff literally smells like hairspray. The texture is like hairspray. It's fairly moisturizing, but on the face, it does get sticky at first, and then it plays its game of my makeup will not move or budge for the next 12 hours. So it was a really sad day when I ran out of this. Again, it is model in a bottle, and I did get it off morphe.com. Let's move on to highlighters. This right here in sign language is clapping, so I'm clapping highlighters. This one I did mention in my last video for my B Bella haul. I've come to absolutely love this B Bella Glow Dust Palette. It's so fabulous, super amazing. This one right here is supposed to be a dupe for Champagne Pop. The highlighters are so beautiful and so pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. This middle one right here. Pigmented, I absolutely love them. They're really, really great. I've been using this a lot lately. I just mix these highlighters and I just applied it on both sides of my cheekbone and they just look fabulous. So I've really been enjoying this and you can get it off Bebella Cosmetics. The other highlighting palette that I would love to talk about is going to be the Moon Child Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is so amazing. Since I do have like such a dark complexion and this has mermaid undertone, purple pearlescent iridescent undertones as well. It just was so captivating to me. I've loved every single highlighter in this palette. Like Anastasia Beverly Hills never fails and she did it big on this one. I love the undertones. They're so iridescent and so pretty. And I do have a little bit of pop of it on my little cheek here. Let's put some more on. Just use all the colors. And then just pop it on. I love the purple undertone. It makes me feel like a mermaid. The only thing I wish that they had is like a mirror to go up top, but that'll do. So I'm going to talk about two palettes from Kat Von D. And these have been the best products that I've tried in such a long time. The first one is going to be the Shade and Light Contour Palettes. Look at her packaging. She is so well known for her packaging. This right here is like embroidered and it's like three dimensional. I, you can pop out the actual product. I usually pop these out with a bobby pin. The great thing about replacing the pots in these palettes like this is that it's a lot cheaper to replace the pot as opposed to the whole 
compact if you know what I mean and of course I really extra love this palette because it goes with all skin tones. I've seen so many girls with so many different complexions use and test out review this product and it looks great on everyone not to mention it does have a mirror which makes me super excited because when I go to Vegas I can take my shade and light Kat Von D contour palette. Since we're on the topic of Miss Kat Von D I feel like I'm like Ooh, la la. I wanted to show you guys her shade and light eyeshadow palette. This one was given to me. I am so thankful, so grateful. Again, it has a mirror, and then all of these tones are matte. If you are a matte gal, this one's going to be right up your alley, and there's not going to be anything that you don't love about this palette. It's so pigmented, so beautiful, and you can create anything from a daytime look to a nighttime look. So that would be super appropriate with this palette. I am wearing this color up top along with this like um, burnt brown color today. All of the products that I am using, all the products that I am mentioning right now, I am using them on thy face today. Miss Kylie Jenner's Bronze Palette. I love it. I love orange on my eyes. Would you look at that? That palette is so beautiful, so pigmented, and I love orange. I just think it's so beautiful, so complimentary on my dark skin. Again, Kylie could have put a mirror right here, which I really would have enjoyed far more than just reading her name, Kylie. Color right here, which is called Topaz, and it's perfect for the brow bone. There's lots of transition colors, and then on this shade, which is technically the very last shade of the palette, you can definitely create some nighttime looks. Next thing I would like to talk about is going to be Nicole Guerrero's Best Stamp Supercharged Lip Mask. Let me tell you, this thing makes a world of a difference when you are working with matte liquid lipsticks. I used to hate all of my matte liquid lipsticks, the ColourPop, the Kylie liquid lipsticks, the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, until I encountered this babe. Cole Guerrero did such an amazing job. She's such a genius. I mean, we prime our face, we prime our eyelids. Why not prime our lips? It makes such a great blending agent and it really does help your liquid lipstick or your regular lipstick to really last long all day long. You cannot go a day without using any type of lip product without putting this down first. This one for sure is an absolute game changer. I highly recommend this one and this would actually be my number one recommendation from her actual line. Um, the next product is going to be my primer. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing the Replenishing Face Primer. I love it. It's infused with skin-loving ingredients, probiotic ingredients, coconut water. It's so moisturizing. I almost use this as a lotion every now and again. You can wear it alone and underneath your makeup. So let's talk about nails. I did them myself. They're so, so cute. They are from the brand Kiss and it's the Gel Fantasy brand. I'm really excited about these two nails because A, I love a classic red nail. I've been shooting for a classic red nail, but I didn't want it to be like for the holidays. I just wanted it for it to be like a an all year glam classic nail. And then these ones, of course, reminded me of my Mama Lou and I just wanted to give them a try out. I got both of them because I really loved these ones. So if you are on a budget and you're sick and tired of getting your nails done, definitely try out the Kiss Gel Fantasy. They're easy to wear and they have an amazingly gel shine with an ultra smooth finish. Now these do have little stick tabs that do go along with them. The actual nail itself is a gel based gel like shellac. I don't use the actual sticky tabs as I hate them. I clean, I do the dishes, and so I really feel like um, the stickiness really absorbs the water, any kind of 
oil. Of course, I'm very hands-on with my makeup. So they just chip off. And I don't know where it goes. It just like goes into La La Land or something like that. So these ones, I actually use them with super glue. They have that gel-based consistency feel to the nail. Like I said, I've only chipped off one nail and I've been wearing them for a week. So I'm going to stop completely getting my nails done. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. And I ain't about that life. There are two more products that I would just love to talk about and I'm so honored to be talking about these products and it's going to be the Eyler collaboration with Nicole Guerrero. These lashes remind me of a mix between the Demi Wispies and the Samantha lashes by Huda Beauty. These ones on the other hand are the ones that I am wearing right now are her 143 lashes and they're so pretty. Once I found out that she was doing her collaboration with Eyler, I went straight to Walgreens, bought all of her lashes that were on the shelf and then went back the next day and then bought the casual ones because Nicole Guerrero's are the best selling lashes that are selling out right now. The very last product that I would like to share with you guys is going to be a blush. And I love, love, love this blush. Oops, there's a hair on it. If you haven't tried the Baked Blushes by Milani, you are missing out. You're missing out and a half. Look at this coral peach color. I love coral peach undertones on me. I just think that they're so beautiful. This is in the color Luminoso. That is the final product that I wanted to show you guys. That is all of my favorite products for January 2017. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Hopefully something caught your eye. Don't forget to be using my discount code BEAUTYQUEENV at self-checkout when you're purchasing the Best Damn Beauty. Currently I am hosting a giveaway for some of my Best Damn Beauty products. They did send me a package and I just wanted to let you guys know that I am giving it away. I will list all of the rules and regulations for you to enter the giveaway. What is going to be included in the giveaway is going to be her Best Damn Beauty Cleanser. I love this one. It's very foamy a little bit. goes a really long way. It moisturizes while it takes off all of your makeup. It's really hydrating. I mix it in with my Botanical Facial Wash. They make a great dynamic duo, so you'll be winning one of these. The winner is going to receive Nicole Guerrero's Best Damn Moisturizer. Now, like I said, I'm not too fond of moisturizers. Oh, but how can you not use hers? It's not heavy on the face at all, and that's the main reason why I don't like moisturizers is because that they're very heavy, and I don't like that heavy feel to the face. I hate it, but this one does not do that to you at all, so this one's going to be included in the giveaway. This is also going to reduce the appearance of fine lines and pores, so if you struggle with large pores or fine lines, then I find that you're really going to enjoy this moisturizer. And last but not least, you are going to receive a Best Damn Supercharged Lip Hydrator Mask. This is an absolute necessity to me. If there's one thing that you need to grab in this whole entire line for the Best Damn Beauty, then definitely go with the supercharged lip hydrator mask. I absolutely love it and it comes in a little bag like this. So that is what is going to be featured in the giveaway. Um, so far 2017 has been really, really good to me. I'm still getting up and running, started, motivated with my creative dream here. I don't know why I'm talking with my hands here. Just want to get some momentum going. I'm really excited to proceed my YouTube channel. And for those of you guys who are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Beauty Queen family. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to hit that notification button. That way you guys will know every single time when I post a video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a, a thumbs up. Don't ever let anyone do your sparkle and I'll be seeing you in my next video.